This poem is called 299,792,458 meters per second. To think that our thoughts process faster than the speed of light. Yet here I waste away on a couch, conducting an orchestra in my head, having the strings tug gently at the corpus colossum, shredding each nerve that connects to my temporal lobe so that all the memories that have haunted me can no longer make their way through my optical nerves to my shifty eyes that change colors like I change my disguise until all that is left is my bare body laid and displayed a blank canvas waiting for the next van gogh to tragically paint a bloody piece best fit to represent my insanity my two fingers carefully placed on the vein that has hidden my pulse a reminder i have been hiding parts of myself away from the world during the day I blossom, a flower drenched in the sun, my petals display colors that leave hopeless romantics to have sung, making lines about finding true love. When the moon takes its place, slowly all my petals die, drifting down crisp and dry. The thorns come and trace, pricking the lonesome fingertips of lovers who walk drifting roads till they can bleed away the pain. Only if I had answers for all the questions that roam around, never seeming to run out of gas, but never seem to be found, my hands calloused and bruised, place life in the world, and then take it by the roots, ripping away my family tree where I never wanted to be, next to the family members who never wanted me. Clocks never seem to understand that in desperate times, the hands need to stop or rewind. Instead, every single tick rips a thought that trickles to my tongue as my teeth bare viciously to stop my words from leaving its mark on the innocent and pure. I am not a bad person, I claim out loud to those that are too holy to let me drown. Only if they understood that I placed the water in my lungs, just like all the other poisons I happened to love, would they still care if they knew that at night I pray the shadows outside will find their place crawling in my room, making their way towards me, where my pupils stay laced, casually awaiting a fate that has only met the ones that desperately wanted to live. Except those poor souls don't stay in my brain for long, because the next second I begin to berate the fact that I will never actually take away my own pain. Instead, I stick around wondering what is worse, being stuck in quicksand or knowing that I am alive but dead at the same time. We process thoughts faster than the speed of light. That is 186,000 miles per hour. 299,792,458 meters per second, except I waste mine and my own destructive mind.